the mitten I'm going to outline that now so you can see why we took off the sticky layer so I can paint directly on onto this if you try to paint on top of gel polish it really won't work you need to make sure that the sticky layer is gone That will be textured here. Bit of a fancy keel, then we're going to do some little dots as if it's snow. Also, we're going to do some dots on just the back part of this nail just to continue the theme. Now with the Mega Gloss Sealer Gel, I'm going to seal all the nails now. This will seal all the nail art in. And it'll also seal the color. and give a nice high shine that can go into the u sorry that can go into the led lamp for one minute now what i'm going to do because that's all cured now it's all nice and shiny i'm going to get some of the pink caddy color we're going to paint a knitted design so they're just little tiny short lines and you're going to mirror the direction so they're going up that way then these are going up that way like a little V but don't connect to them in the middle and then we're going to come down this side. While that's wet, you're going to get magic wand, which is an acrylic powder. And we're going to sprinkle that over the top. Tap off the excess. You can see that it's attached itself to the wet product. And pop that into the LED lamp. We're going to put it in for a minute and a half just to give it another 30 seconds because of the powder being in the gel polish. So that's set and we're going to continue this theme along all the nails now. So using the same detailing brush, we're going to do a straight line down that side, another one down this side. In the middle of those two lines, we're going to do a knitted shape which is basically you down and across and then down and across again. Don't let them meet. And then the sides, we're going to do little lines that come down. Same on this side. The same using the pink caddy gel polish. Going to sprinkle that with the acrylic powder. Going to cure that one again. going to dust off the excess on that one and we're going to do the same thing on the tatty teddy one we're going to do these little lines watch the direction of your lines same on the little finger and sprinkle the magic dust I'm going to pop those into the lamp and cure those too Again, just dusting off that excess, and then we are going to do the thumb. Starting with the lines, I mean, straight down. I've just done a dot there and there, so I can join those up. That's a bit easier to get that straight line if you 
maybe not too hot at getting a straight line just do a bit of a dot to dot so we're going down across down across now on the side you can go down doing this detached v shape then we're going to sprinkle with the magic dust make sure all the gel has acrylic powder on there and this is a shimmery acrylic powder pop that into the LED lamp for a minute and a half. You could leave it like that, but we're going to do a little bit more to it. So using the um, ice white UV gel, we're going to do the fluffy tops, or the fluffy top bit to the mitten. So a bit of the gel, and then I'm going to use frost shimmer acrylic powder it's got a little bit of glitter in we want that to stick to the gel and then with the same technique with the white gel We're going to do Tatty Teddy's furry part of his hat. Don't do it too neat. Pull out little little lines so he can get really textured. Don't forget his little pom pom. Because this is UV gel, we're going to pop this into the UV lamp and we're going to add an extra 30 seconds just because we've got the acrylic powder with the gel. I can go into the UV lamp. Now that's cured, I'm going to dust off the excess. Also, I'm going to wipe over with the gel residue wipe solution just to remove any excess powder and also to remove a sticky layer. If you only have a LED lamp, you can always do this white using the white on gel polish. And if you only have a UV lamp, all this will cure in a UV lamp. Don't forget if you have any questions, you can always ask and comment in the comments box. Lastly, we're gonna finish with a little bit of cuticle oil. Rub that all the way around. That's your finished tatty teddy textured knitted design.